All right, so just got out of the gym, all done with the workout. Legs went pretty good today, not too bad. Got up to a 325 squat. Only got it for one, so I guess it's close to my one rep max, or that is my one rep max. I probably could have done it a second time, but it definitely would have been tiring, or I probably would have failed it. I could just tail, 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 tail. I could just tail. My Missouri accent is coming out on me, right? Crazy. Just got done with my workout. Went pretty well, I believe. Got a PR. Yeah. While I'm in the cut. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. So I think I finally figured out how I want to do my programming. Anybody has any like, you know, suggestions about this or anything, let me know in the comments below. But I think I'm gonna do it like this. So I've been doing like in every other workout type thing um, as far as the movement. So for example, if it's push day, uh, that day, and this is just for my stable movements, that day I'll get a lot of volume in with about 80% or so of my max. So I'll get it like, uh, I think like five sets, five sets of five is what I've kind of been doing. So I think I'm gonna stick with that for right now and see how it goes. Yeah, that's what I've been doing is my max, or 80% of my max, five sets of five, and I'll do that with my staple movements on every other day. And then the opposite of that day, I will try to, you know, put five pounds on the bar. That way I'm still progressively overloading and I can raise that, um, that 80% up. While it's not very much, it is significant enough, I think. But again, if I'm wrong, definitely correct me. Let me know in the comments below. Definitely don't want to waste my time because I'm new to this still, right? Look how red my face is from the blinker and stuff in front of me. Today is a pretty special day. Uh, today is February 4th. You probably won't see this until a little bit later. But today is February 4th and it is my son's birthday. So my son is nine years old. As of today, nine years old, which is crazy to me. Absolutely insane. Blows my mind. Because I'm going to be 30 this year. So technically I had him at 21. That's how old I was when I had my son. So, as far as my young adult life goes, I've had, I've had kids, or a kid, uh, the entire time. Four years later, I had my daughter. I would never change that. Would I suggest anybody do it? Not necessarily. I mean, if you want to, definitely. That, I mean, if you want to. And if you're, you know, if you're, I guess, stable enough to do that. We weren't stable enough to do that. We have my son and there's nothing nothing at all in the world I would I would give up to replace him. Nothing. I mean, he's one of the greatest things in my life and honestly, I mean, totally honest. I know a lot of people say, you know, they do this fitness thing for themselves, they do this fitness thing for this for that, their personal goals. While that's true with me, I definitely do it for my personal goals and it keeps me going. One of the big reasons that I even started was because it's, you know, it's a health conscious thing. I didn't go into it thinking I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. Don't get me wrong. I hated the idea. My wife is the one that actually talked me into doing it uh, with her. So we signed up for a gym membership. You know, everything else was downhill from there. Or uphill. Be uphill from there, I guess. However you want to look at that. Yeah, it's... So I, I, I say I do it for myself, but on the other hand, I, th I would like to think I also do it for them because I want, I want to be around for things in their lives and I don't want to be out of shape for things they need me there for. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like, you know, it's your life. Live it to the fullest. But that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to live my life to the fullest, um, give my kids you know, the opportunity to have a dad, you know, that is fit enough to do things with them, you know, to play with them and not get worn out, to, you know, run up and down, you know, the uh, the court with them when they're playing their sports, 
you know, just different stuff like that. If we ever go on vacation and they want to do certain things, they want to go hiking or anything like that, anything they end up being interested in, I would like to think that I'm fit enough to do that. Anyway, on my way home now, guys, as you can see by the fade of the camera, it's starting to get dark. I'll show you guys what we are having for dinner later. This weekend, like I said, today is my son's birthday, but we're not really celebrating or having a birthday party until this weekend because, you know, today's Thursday. So, this weekend we'll be having his birthday party, so it'll be our first cheat meal in four weeks. So we're all looking forward to it, and we're gonna try our best not to like binge eat because <laughs> we're having pizza of all things. So yeah, I'll definitely bring you guys along for that. I'll show you guys what we're having for dinner tonight. All right, so this is what we're having for Cam's birthday dinner. Look at that; it's like a cheat meal on its own. as big as my wife's head <laughs> yep this is what we're having for his birthday dinner it's basically like a little taco salad with is he I don't know it might not fit in my macros but we'll see I'll show you guys later once I figure it up I'm gonna eat it right now happy, happy birthday, birthday to you happy birthday to Happy birthday, dear Cameron. Happy birthday to you. Do you want to get your wish? Is it good? Hi. So unfair. Cupcake, I want it. Can I help you, Sissy? Those are cupcakes from Jilly's Cupcakes here in St. Louis. They are awesome, so amazing. They're huge. Dying sucks. All right, so finish up dinner. Can definitely fit in the macros. So I know that's surprising. It's crazy, right? What it turned out to be. Uh, 770 calories, 44 carb, 36 fat, 67 protein. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now I'm having some eggs. Some eggs. I'm making egg sandwich. Love egg sandwiches. Um, and then I also had cereal. And I have a protein shake. From this right here. Optimum Nutrition. It is the, you know, if you can read that or not, mm, cake donut. So, finish making this, go upstairs, watch some Master Chef, and that's it for the night. No more until tomorrow. Tomorrow's an off day. No gym tomorrow. What are we going to do? Edit some videos, probably. Most likely, that's what we'll do. Anyway, make sure to like the video if you like the video. Comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time, guys. Teach their own.